My name is Sarah Saeed, and as a former board member of Women in Islam for nearly 17 years, it's my honor and privilege to welcome you today to the 15th annual Dr. Betty Shabazz Memorial Lecture and Award Ceremony. Women in Islam Incorporated is a platform for women to speak on human rights and social justice issues impacting our communities. To navigate us through today's program, I'd like to invite our Master of Ceremonies, Kimberly Newberry, on stage. Betty Shabazz was a cartographer, a way shower, and a measurer of monsters, who aptly and elegantly guided the captain of her ship and its six treasured, treasured passengers past the sea monsters and fierce tooth animals across the rambunctious seas of the world. Sister Betty, indeed, was a way shower. She still is. Ladies and gentlemen, here to tell her story, Mahogany Faye. So we all know about Malcolm X, right? But the untold story of Betty Shabazz is one of survival. And uh, I hope that this song resonates with you as well. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our first Compass Awardee, Madam Asetu C. I am so honored to receive such a, a prestigious Compass Award. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Kending Sinda. We're here to bring you our story. We're here to bring you the story of our ancestors, and we'll bring we're going to bring you the movement of our resistance to art. It gives me great pleasure to present Nzinga Knight. And um, then it's just all about gaining the tools along the way and um, just being a leader and helping to inspire people to see what you see. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honor to present Dr. Lacretia Hawkins. Muslim lives matter. That's why I wore a hijab in solidarity with my Muslim sisters during the Christian season of Advent from December 10th, 2015 to January 3rd, 2016. Because human dignity predicated on decency demands that all humans stand in solidarity with their beleaguered neighbor. We are our brothers and sisters keepers. I am honored to receive this special award in the name of a woman whose own faith, courage of conviction, and embodied solidarity with the oppressed during her lifetime emboldens my own faith journey. Peace. Now it gives me great pleasure to present the founder of Women in Islam, Sister Aisha al Adawiya. And I'd like to uh, thank you for your love and your support 
and your participation. Bobby. Thank you for coming, and we'll see you next year.